Well, this is certainly a big night for Joe Biden, uh, certainly given where his campaign was two weeks ago, where it was essentially left for dead by the political class and by many of the uh, of the Democratic electorate. Biden's ability to uh, demonstrate widespread support among the Democratic electorate uh, across the country uh, was a huge boost for his campaign. It was also a significant night for, for Bernie Sanders as well, but uh, it was it was expected to be a big night for Bernie Sanders. So in terms of expectations, certainly uh, this seems to be, uh, this dominant storyline does seem to be Joe Biden. That's the real test for, for Joe Biden. He won tonight uh, without any uh, big investment on the ground, both in terms of staff, uh, in terms of television ads. That is indicative of a, of a bit of a consolidation within the Democratic field. Bernie Sanders, on the other hand, has a lot of grassroots support, a lot of money, and a lot of field, uh, field staffers ready to deploy as this race continues. So this will, may end up being a battle between uh, Bernie Sanders' small but well-organized and well-funded support um, and, and Joe Biden's increasingly consolidated uh, backing among the Democratic uh, sort of establishment vote. You can't understate the value of Amy Klobuchar drop, dropping out in particular uh, to Joe Biden's performance uh, when you look at his win in Minnesota, a state that uh, it's it was a caucus state uh, four years ago, but that's a state that Bernie Sanders carried. Pete Buttigieg's uh, uh, endorsement of, of Biden as well uh, is a sort of signaling to uh, voters who are on the fence on Election Day. And there's an indica indication from AP VoteCast that there was a shift in, uh, in, even in just the hours leading into Election Day uh, on Super Tuesday of Democrats breaking for Joe Biden. And that is in, in part due to the, uh, those, those former Democratic contenders dropping out and endorsing him. Elizabeth Warren's uh, disappointing third place finish in her home state uh, really does potentially signal the end of, uh, of her campaign coming very soon. It's very difficult to, to imagine how a candidate can come in third um, in the state where the voters know them best and continue to mount a national campaign. Well, Bernie Sanders is one of the most well-organized cam uh, campaigns and has been all throughout. He benefited from having a lot of that in place since 2016. He just reactivated it uh, on the second run for the, pre for the presidency. Joe Biden, by, by contrast, has been one of the least organized campaigns in the Democratic field. Uh, and, and, and it's surprising to see how Biden was able to perform so well tonight, given that he didn't have a whole lot of resources on the ground. He didn't visit a lot of these states, wasn't spending money on television. And that sort of gets at uh, the, 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 sort of the, the changing nature of the race. This is going to be, a, uh, seems to be right now, a, a battle between organization and right now a bit of momentum uh, for, on the Joe Biden's account. So uh, Sanders definitely has the advantage when it comes to organization and grassroots support. Biden has uh, sort of the wind in his sails right now. Well, Mike Bloomberg's campaign, this is his first night on the ballot uh, and the same night that the most delegates were allocated. He got some delegates, but he also spent a half a billion dollars getting those delegates. Uh, he is not amassing any substantial delegate lead or winning any state uh, this evening. So uh, his rationale for remaining in this race um, is it, certainly a, a major question hovering over his campaign. Um, he has said he may, uh, uh, he may drop out, and uh, AP is reporting that he's reassessing his campaign Wednesday. Well, if anything, it means that uh, Donald Trump is uh, potentially very likely going to be the youngest uh, candidate on the ballot uh, uh, this fall, uh, which uh, he's, he's younger than, than Bernie Sanders and Joe Biden, the two likeliest Democrats. But um, also, there, uh, there's, uh, this is the race that the Trump campaign has always been preparing to run, either for Bernie Sanders to emerge as the Democratic nominee or for Joe Biden, the, the sort of the two early favorites in this race. Um, and the Trump campaign is signaling that they're enjoying this chaos, as this uh, Democratic field does seem to be in this a bit of a delegate shootout uh, into the convention. So they're stoking the flames of that chaos. Uh, but uh, right now, this is uh, the Trump campaign feels very well positioned uh, to run this into the stretch in November.